Hi, I'm Justin at All-Wheel Drive Auto. Let's go on inside where I'm going to teach you about your Subaru. So what we're going to talk about now is prepping the cylinder heads for uh, head gasket repair. And what we're looking at here is this is a cylinder head that I put through a cylinder head resurfacer, but I only did just half of it. On the other side over here, this is something that I used a whiz wheel to clean, which is this is the method at a lot of general repair shops and at a Subaru dealership in particular. Um, and you can clearly see the differences in the finish. If you can obtain this type of finish, which is 50 RA or better, the head gasket repair is going to last a lot longer than if you let it go with something like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually show you a couple of different techniques in prepping the cylinder heads for uh, a head gasket repair. So what I've got here is this is uh, actually a first generation 2.5 liter cylinder head. Um, and I'm going to first just kind of go at this with the whiz wheel and uh, I'm going to just do half of the cylinder head with this whiz wheel right here. And the first thing I want to do is talk to you about this whiz wheel. This, when I was still working at the Subaru dealership, this was the preferred repair method. Subaru had to do so many of these things under warranty. You know, it wasn't about doing it right, it was about doing it fast. And that's what this tool is all about and I really despise it and I want to show you why. Always wear your safety glasses. Safety first. So as you can see, very quick work of getting the cylinder head clean, and we could probably go at it for a little more, but I'm just trying to get a point across. Um, what it does is it creates scratches, not to mention that when the whiz wheel is going over the surface, even though I might do everything I can to try to keep it straight, it has no choice but to round off these edges. And that removes surface material. And the more surface material we remove, the less the, the less likely this head gasket repair is going to last for a long time, which is, which is what you want. You don't want to have to do this again, which is why I'm showing you. Instead, the best way to go about this is this is just a razor blade and this is just a razor blade scraper. It's very common in our industry. Just scrape most of the excess material off first. You take some brake clean on a rag the surface clean, free of debris as best as you can. Then you would start block sanding. Block, sand, block sanding hits the surface area much more evenly than that was. We've also got different sizes of blocks. The bigger the block, the more you're hitting that all at the same time. As long as you use pretty consistent pressure, you're not going to be removing more material from one spot of the cylinder head than another. This is a cylinder head that I basically did the exact same thing to. So on this side here, this was nothing but block sanded. On this side here, it was whiz wheeled, and then I block sanded over it. And you can see all of the low spots and uneven that there is on the cylinder head surface. That's going to make it impossible for a cylinder head gasket to seal to this surface properly. You're much better off block sanding if you don't need to have the cylinder heads machined. I'm Justin at All Wheel Drive Auto, helping you get more out of your Subaru.